Folks, you're watching Northern Outdoor Adventures. Today is uh, <laughs> breaking neck, man. Today is just going to be a video around the camp, and we're going to be getting ready later on for a project. I got to uh, figure out something with my hot tent and how we're going to tow it, compact everything. But anyway, that'll be a future video you have to stay tuned for, and we're going to be starting to get ready for that later on in this video. But for now, we're just packing in the wood and doing a few chores around the camp and getting ready for supper. Stay tuned. Hope you enjoy. Take off me, wouldn't me? What are we gonna bring you take stuff? Immediate. You're immediate. There you go, Maria. Go get that one. Is a good place to be? I don't think so. Make the difference. Anyone else got a lab like this? Every time I take some junk of wood in my hand, she thinks she's playing fetch. I think she'd take it at the stove if it wasn't so hot. You can't have all them junks of wood bail here. I get my glove. Huh? <laughs> Almost there. Almost all you can reach anyway. My dog's all done. Isn't that great for you, George? Too lazy to split, or <laughs> or too long. The bigger stolen dredge. So bring that one in now and get the dredge warmed up. the new Titan fiberglass sleigh I acquired recently brought in here now we got the fire going in the garage here I'm warming her up good I'm gonna tie it out and get all the ice off it because I had to dig it out of the snowbank probably should have put it in before we had all the snow but you know where's the fun in that but the plan with this is we're gonna take up all our ice fishing gear our new Nordic Legend Aurora tent that I got and all the ice fishing gear I got rides everything sleeping gear everything it's all going in the sleigh we're gonna bring it up to the house 
And we're going to try and come up with a way to fit everything in the sleigh so it's tight and it don't chafe and bent around much and multi-purpose. So there's going to be lots of little gimme gadgets and custom boxes. And I'm not going to lie, the wife is going to be the brains behind it all. I'm just the muscle, but don't tell her I said that. <laughs> so we're going to get her all tied out here now and going to get her all packed up and ready to take home. But as for now, it's time to go in and get some supper on. Decide there what we were going to have for supper, so I come up with a good idea that we go for a hunt, get a couple ptarmigan, come back and fry them up. It's one of my favorite meals. I didn't have to tell her twice we're going for a bird hunt. Sure. Ah. I apologize now for the wind. I don't know how much of this you're going to be able to hear. <laughs> Pretty funny. I got a Merton box right there. This skidoo track is from checking me dress. As you've seen, I could add plenty more, but we only wanted two for supper, so. Got that now? Okay, we have. Got a bird. Got a bird. Got a bird. Normally, if we were going to bake these, I'd pick them and do them up very nice and pretty like a chicken, but I'm just going to cut them up for a fry, so I'm just going to skin them out. It's quicker, easier. And I guess to leave a Feathers, a bit of stuff around the box here. I mean, those give you the heart, though. The heart? Oh, this was good. <laughs> Anyone who watches the channel heard me mention this gun a, uh, in a previous video. Well, this gun definitely has some sentimental value, too. On top of it being one of Dad's first guns. This is the first shotgun I ever used. First one I ever fired out. I wouldn't be very old. <laughs> so to get her now and be able to fix her back up. And my young fellow, this was the first 12 gauge he ever used. So definitely lots of stories on this one. So to be able to do her up and still be able to continue using it after all those years certainly means a lot. And as you see, she works perfect. <laughs>
better jungle wood. Just got her started on the propane and moved her over to the wood. I think there's lots of heat there, but a bit quicker. I think she's done. That right there is a fine meal. So certainly, certainly a good feed. Right off the land. That's good stuff. and that will bring your very cold wind chill values uh, in the early morning and the overnight. West minus 46 at 7 o'clock tomorrow morning. Come on, Bailey, we're good and great. Start packing the gear in. We got a lot of gear. Start off with the main attraction. Here's Bailey's chair. Huh? Well, the you know, we can all use it. Uh -huh. situated so when all goes together better. The way it's all loose it'll probably not look the same when we arrive wherever we're going camping. So the idea behind this is to bring it up and come up with some custom boxes, mounts and all kinds of stuff to fit everything like a I said earlier like Tetris, like a jigsaw puzzle. We got some amazing stuff on the way, some stuff I got ordered.
get this show on the road. <laughs> Ready to go. Thanks.